you are welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about corposcopy after we've gone through a series of presentations on cervical cancer. Corposcopy has been mentioned repeatedly while doing that. Corposcopy is a diagnostic procedure meant to view the cervix, the vulva, the vagina, so not only in service. Here, the main instrument will be a corposcope. That is the instrument in corposcopy. It is a lighter binocular microscope that has the capability to magnify the tissue of interest. Advantages will be that the structures are magnified, increasing the chances of visualization of the precancerous or cancerous epithelium. Indications for corposcopy will include abnormal cervical pasme, tumor pavnoma virus DNA testing, cervical cytology, vacuum examination, vulva lesions or swelling, vagina lesions or swelling, inner lesions or swelling, or pre endocervical curator colonization, loop excision electrosurgical procedure. Contraindications will include bleeding dyscrasia, anticoagulation, pregnancy, second or third trimester because of the apparent service, immunosuppression in absolute nitrophic count less than 500 cells per microliter can predispose to bacteria. Materials that we'll use here will include a sign consent by the Affected womb, then the corposcope, the speculum, the tenaculum, acetic acid, lugol stain, monster solution, lidocaine, cytobrush, spatula, liquid based cytology, or glass slide with fixation. Also, swab, gloves, and face mask because it is now COVID 19 era. The procedure. Patients could be in supine position with nail flesh, and we're going to apply the acetic acid or lugol staining that will be better than acetic acid to aid in visualization of the structures. Non lesion and surrounding lesions will be detectable. We'll be looking for acetoid lesions, punctations, mosaicing, abnormal blood vessels. When acetoid is present, that will be pointing to the presence of human papilloma virus. Still on procedure, then the biopsy will be done. Of course, it will be made easier. Punch biopsies will be from posterior to anterior and will control bleeding with the aid of monster solution. If no lesion is seen, we can embark on endosvaca curator. That would be the gold standard for cervica intraepithelial neoplasia. More tests could be done with code knife colonization if cytology suggests gandula abnormality. We can have loop excision electrosurgical procedure if not good enough, corposcopy or we can get access to transformation zone or corposcopy with histological findings and cytology are incongruent, meaning you are finding differences you know, in corposcopy with histological findings and cytology. LAEP can be embarked upon also if ECC is revealing features of adenocarcinoma, that is endocervical curated. Also, we can embark on LAP in recurrency of lesion, post ablation, or excision. Or if we cannot rule out invasive lesion, then we can have loop excision electrosurgical procedure. That have come to the end of this short presentation as per corposcopy. Remember to share this, remember to subscribe to my channel, remember to check all presentations already published on cervical cancer. I appreciate it.